Hey friends, I'm here with another quick tip of the day. Uh, you ever want a two box or three box, doesn't matter, and you're not sure how to do some stuff. Maybe you've got a shaman, maybe you've got an enchanter that is assisting your main character, whichever the main character is. I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. Here's the main character. It's a rope. And then I have an ogre mercenary as the main tank and if you notice here i set up them as main tank under roles just to you know refresh if you if you don't know if you right click on a mercenary you'll see this window pop up and you go down the roles and then you select them as main tank when you do that they will behave a lot more like a main tank taunting the monster that you're fighting off of whoever it the monster ends up attacking like if the uh one of the casters gets aggro this is very important especially when you want a tank to behave like a tank if you don't do this your tank's just gonna do dps they're not gonna be taunting they're not gonna be defensive and then of course for the rogue i have main assist and puller again just right click on your name and then go to roles and you can select it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover what exactly I'm doing with the shaman and the enchanter. So I start attacking something. We switch over here to the frog lock shaman. I have a key here that I named assist as you see. And what I put here are the commands. I put slash pause four comma slash assist weasel that is the name of the rogue another thing you can do if you want is instead of typing out the name you can erase the name and you could put assist main and it'll work the same way and then you just hit accept and the changes will be saved assist main just means assisting whoever is marked as the main assist and weasel is the main assist as you could see here in the window next i have a command sending the shaman's pet to attack which is pause for comma slash pet kill another command you can do instead of pet kill is pet q attack now i don't know if that is something that works on lower level shaman pets i'm pretty sure it works for mage pets no matter what and it probably works for necromancer pets no matter what level they are but q attack for a shaman and enchanter type pets that might be something that comes later with some aa points so i'm going to test it i'm going to leave q attack on here and see if the shaman pet actually does attack and what q attack is and what makes it different than uh say pet kill or pet attack is that if you already have the pet attacking someone and then you have a pet Q attack uh, command that comes after, then the pet will stay on the one that it's currently fighting until it is dead. And then that Q is like a lineup and you're telling it Q the attack on this one after you're done doing whatever you're doing. So after it kills one, it'll go to that other one that you told it to attack. Next we have slash pause 40 comma cast Three. And you might be wondering what these pauses are. Well, a pause is like a timer. It's basically telling the game pause 40 seconds or 40 ticks until doing the command on the next line. So you want to have some of these pauses. Like, for example, I have a little pause here for four ticks before having the pet attack. That's to give the game a couple of seconds to actually target whatever I'm targeting, whatever the, the main character is targeting. Then it gives it a couple of seconds to send the pet in to attack before going to the next command because if it happens a little too quickly sometimes one of those commands is not triggered properly these pauses have to be bigger because well cast three what is cast three i have malozi a malo uh, a mallow type spell which uh, reduces the monster's resistance, right? And the timer, the cast time is 30 seconds on that. Um, so I put 40 seconds just to be safe. Similar with the next spell is number four, and that's Plague of Insects. That's a slow spell. 
to slow their attack speed and that one has an even higher cast time it's got a cast time of 6.4 so really this should be a lot higher i should have it more like uh, 70 just to be on the safer side and and the comma after the pause is basically letting the uh the game know this is a new command and you can only have two commands on one line and one can only be a timer a pause so you can't have cast one and then cast two on the same line that doesn't work it'd be great if it did because then you can have like a macro keys that do 10 different spells or more so i've paused 70 now uh cast four so that's the slow and then the last one is just cast two which is a dot it's a poison dot i don't need a pause there because it's the last command there's no other actions or commands that comes after that similarly for this enchanter have an assist key it's also going to do assist weasel uh, even though my pet won't attack i have this because you know it's going to be soon where i get the aa abilities where the pet will automatically attack and i have auto grant so this is just preemptive because at some level in the 60s enchanters get an AA ability that lets them control their pets where they can tell their pets to attack and that's why I have that there. I, you don't need it if you don't have a pet of course but I'm I, I'm lazy and I just left it and I don't need more than three spells on the enchanter anyway. So next is pause 28 cast 4 that is their Tashani line of spells which is also a resist debuff and this one has a one second cast time so therefore i've only got a 20 sec 28 second pause i have a pause 45 cast three which is their slow spell and this one also has a faster cast time it's a six second cast time so really this should be a little a little bigger let's put 65 to be safe and then the last one is cast one which is the dot the asphyxiate type dot so let's see what this looks like when we do it all when I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull something pull a creature and then I'm gonna have to switch windows and you know hit that number one key for each one to to activate those so let's pull this guy over there we'll sling a javelin at him it's like the best way to pull when you have a rogue a javelin or some other thrown weapon all right I'll stand behind them so I can backstab and stuff I'm going to flip the window, I'm going to hit assist, and then flip another window and hit assist. And I went back to the shaman here because I want to show you, okay, so the pet is attacking and it did work because I am targeting them even though I didn't have their name. Remember, I, I changed it to assist main. And the nice thing about having assist main as your assist key is that you can just leave it there. No matter who you group with, as long as they set roles and they set someone as main assist, this key will work. You don't have to keep changing the name. So assist main is a great command for a lazy player. Philip, just kidding. Um, I say that only because he's called himself lazy a bunch of times and it's kind of funny and I'm kind of doing this video thinking it might help him a bit. And let's pull one more. Let's sling a javelin at this uh, screen bringer over there and I'm going to switch to the shaman. I'm going to hit the assist key. See it sent the pet in. It's doing the slow spell. Now it's doing plague of well, actually, it did the Melozi spell. Now it's doing Plague of Insects. And then lastly, it should be doing the Dot, which it is Envenomed Bolt. So all of my commands work. Similarly, all of the Enchanter's commands work. See, Forlorn Deeds overwrote the Shaman Slow. And also we have the Enchanter's Dot. The only thing that didn't really happen was the pet didn't attack. Again, because the Enchanter doesn't have that AA ability yet where they can actually control their pet. But that's it. That's, that's all, all you have, have to do. do if you want to play two characters at the same time during combat. It's real easy. You can have a character that actually, you know, is very useful and um, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort. You just gotta, you know, click over to their screen, hit one single key assist and it does all this stuff and if you want to like especially a higher levels where you get some aa abilities like say you have a mage that can summon a swarm of pets or i think shaman get it too it's called spirit call i think on a shaman where they could summon multiple pets and maybe you could put spirit call as the second button or the third you can also make macros that trigger several different aa abilities 
So, you know, I, I like being funny with my macros, so I might name one like, oh shit. <laughs> and my oh shit macro might be, you know, summoning a swarm of pets uh, and, and casting multiple spells or, or triggering other AA abilities too. Oh, I'm getting attacked. So you can, you can do multiple commands and you're going to ask me, well, how do I know what commands to use for the AA abilities? Well, with AA abilities... It's a little more uh, tricky, uh, but there's a, there's an easy way to find out what the commands are, what some of them are. So it would be like, I think it's activate alt advancement or something like that. You can look it up or maybe I will put the actual command. Editing Fez can add it as text over here on the screen. But you go here and let's say you have an AA ability for anatomy. I don't know. Uh, it has to be something that's triggered. If you want to activate AA abilities here is a perfect example spirit call where you can summon a swarm of pets you create the hotkey you 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 could set it down and you could just do it that way or you can look here for the code ability activation id okay now this is going to be on anything that can be triggered it's going to have an id so this is 177 and that's the code you're going to use to activate that ability so if you have multiple abilities where you can activate them you can have one command just like spells you can have a pause to make sure it has time to get triggered and then you can have another one under that and you can mix it up like you can have activate spirit call and then I can have just casting regular spells after that like uh, you know several dots or whatever I want. So that is something that you can do. You can you can activate alt abilities also with a macro. So I hope this video helps you in some way and that you found it useful. If you did, if you like what I do, you want to support me and support the channel, consider hitting a like on this video. Consider subscribing to the channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you want to help me even more, consider leaving a super thanks in this video. A super thanks is like, you know, you can give a small donation. Buy me a cup of coffee or something. I would love you for it. You can also hit the join button below to become a channel member. Channel members have special perks like custom badges and emojis. They get access to our secret Discord channel and a bunch more stuff like member-only content and video. There is also a Patreon page that you can also join as a member to support me and the channel. Patreon patrons also get early access to all my videos and they're all commercial free. They also get access to the Discord. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow.